All right, here we are back out of my Ford F-250 with its Triton V10 with the blown spark plug on cylinder 5. Before I actually start any repairs, I'm going to plug in a bus scanner and see if I see anything else interesting or see what it does say. The one that I use, mostly because it's inexpensive, I mean, it cost me like 16 bucks on Amazon and it seems to work pretty well across a variety of cars that I have, is this uh, Autel MaxiScan MS300. It's not real fancy. It'll give you the codes. Seems to work. Seems to work on a variety of cars. You know, doesn't do a lot of uh, fancy stuff, but you know, the price is right, and like I said, it seems to work. Okay, so, well, and if, if I had one complaint about it though, is the cord on it is pretty short. So it works, but it's uh, you know, not very far from, you know, the the plug to the handset. So you kind of gotta put the handset down below the display when you're working with it. All right, so on this. F-250. The OBD2 plug is underneath here, underneath the dash, right down here. And let's see, so we reach in and plug this in the right way. The engine, the ignition is turned off. So we'll get this plugged in. All right, and let's see. So that's, yeah, it's powered up. Okay, fine. Yeah, see, so this is the situation. Dang, cord's too short. Well, let's turn it on and see what it says. I don't want to start the engine. I just want to. Okay, so. And then we'll say. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in this video. Hmm. Not very well. It's saying can OBD2. What, what can I, if I can fix that at all? Doesn't look like. Doesn't look like there's any way for you to be able to read this. So I'm going to hit the scan button. It's now saying scanning PWM, PWM protocol. It's trying to read. I wish you guys could see this. I sure can't. Oh, maybe you can, just barely if I get right up on it. Hmm. It's trying to read. Oh, that's too bad. This looks so bad. And what does it say? Oh, uh, diagnostic trouble codes. So menu DTC. And let's see what it says. Oh, whoops. Let me go back around to menu DCC. Select that. It says fault zero zero pending two. So let's see if they say anything. So the faults are P0355P, that's the first of two, and P0305. All right, so what we have is 350, 0355 and 0305. All right, let's take a look and see what that means. Okay, so we should be able to look those trouble codes up in the manual I found it to be you know reasonably complete complete let's see so for 0355 and 0305 all right so it looks like it says come on we look here I don't know if you can see this a 03P0305 is a cylinder 5 misfire detected well that seems reasonable since how uh, you know, there's no plug and no coil there and a 0355, that's over here. It looks like a 0355, I don't, yeah, I don't know if you can read that. It's a ignition coil E, primary, secondary, circuit malfunction. So A, B, C, D, E, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, coil five, circuit malfunction. Well, that makes sense because the uh, coil's you know, sitting in my hand rather than uh, connected to the engine, so. All right, and those are the only uh, device uh, diagnostic trouble codes that showed up and they're both four cylinder five so well I mean that, that's good news at least that you know nothing else is showing up right now so we'll take a look at those and and move on